Okay, let's get started. Good evening, everyone. My name is Victoria Chakla, and I'm a student at the Medical University of Americas, and I'm broadcasting live from Nevis tonight. Um, I went to the University of Michigan for undergrad in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I majored in Polish studies and international studies in addition to doing all the pre-med coursework. Um, so it is a little bit of an in, untraditional path to medical school, but rest assured that there is no ideal path. So whatever your major was, um, there is a way to get to medical school, regardless of if you were a humanities major, a business major, et cetera. Um, I also hold a um, master's of business degree from the Ross School of Business at the University of Michigan. Um, so. There are a lot of options uh, to get to medical school. And I am very thankful to have learned about MUA when I was searching for different medical schools. Um, MUA was very attractive after I did my research because of their uh, first time pass rate for the US MLE step one exam. In addition to being, I would say kind of like a smaller school. Um, so that was, that was very big for me. And, that's what sold me on MUA was also um, the ease of working with everybody in the administration office, both on the island and back in the US. Um, they were very friendly and I always feel that you should go where you're wanted. And I felt like everyone at um, MUA wanted me to also join the student body. So that's how I came across MUA. Um, and when I was looking at different medical schools, I definitely looked at the first time pass rate for the US MLE, um, because going forward, that is of utmost importance for any medical student, let alone a Caribbean medical student. Um, and I was very impressed with the first time pass rate at MUA. Um, I also liked that it was a smaller class size, as I mentioned before. And um, just by looking at the website and everything else, speaking to students, um, it also sounded like students had a great time both in school and out of school. Um, and that's, that's how I came to MUA. Um, and let me see, I have a list of questions here. Um, the adjustment to MUA. So I'll be honest with all of you. I would say that um, coming to the Caribbean is not for everybody. Um, I feel that there are a few characteristics that everyone should have. When I look at my peers who are very successful on the island, um, I would say everybody is independent. Um, everyone has kind of learned to be away from home very quickly. Um, not all of my friends went away for college, so that was kind of a slight adjustment for them getting to the island. Um, and it's also ha something that you have to really want. Um, it's not very easy to be away from home, to miss birthdays, other kind of milestone events. Um, but so it is a little kind of a sacrifice for two years. Um, and just being able to adjust quickly um, and being able to get right into school after coming to the island and being here for a few days, I would say that is um, that is key. And just adjusting, knowing that it is not like home as in terms of being in the US and in Canada, but there are, you can basically get most things on the island that you can get at home. So it is not super different in that regards. Um, I would say if there's something that you absolutely can't live without, like a snack or electronics, anything like that, to, to definitely bring that with you when you come to the island. Um, and the next question I have here is, what is my dorm like? Um, so the housing situation at MUA, uh, you are assigned to a housing coordinator who works with the administration office on the island. and. The university has you fill out a form um, where you kind of delineate your preferences. So you describe if you're a morning person, how organized you are, et cetera. And they place you in a house that they believe is suitable uh, for you. And whether or not you want a roommate, that's also 
on the form, um, but there is no official school dorm here at MUA. Uh, students are usually placed in different houses on the island. If you work with the housing coordinator, you can also go about finding housing um, on your own. And if you do decide to do that, I suggest to start very, very early. Um, so there are options in terms of apartments, homes, cottages, um, different Airbnb options too. So there, there is definitely something for everyone out there. Uh, like I said, it's just, it really pays off to start the search early on before you arrive on the island and having your housing settled and whether or not you want to rent a car before school starts is also very key to, to starting off on the right foot. And then a typical day in the life of a student so when you begin your first semester, you'll be in school from eight to five on most days and then eight to three on days that you have um, anatomy lab. And that rotates every other day you have anatomy lab and Fridays, um, everybody has anatomy lab. Um, the nice thing about the anatomy lab at MUA is that we have cadavers, um, which sets us apart from a few other Caribbean schools. Um, so you get into the lab, you get to dissect the cadaver, um, you get to explore, uh, just anything you're covering in class during lecture is identified on the cadaver, which is very nice because each body is different. So finding the different organs, veins, arteries, etc., cetera, um, on the different cadavers is really neat. It really expands your, your horizons. Um, and so we'll start out our day at 8 a.m. and we'll have two hours of, um, when you're in first semester, you'll have two hours of anatomy from 8 to 10. And we usually get a break after 50 minutes of class. So it's like ample time to use the restroom, go to the cafeteria, uh, get a snack, etc. Then after our two hours of anatomy in the morning, we have two hours of histology from 10 to noon. Then we break from lunch from noon to one, and there is a cafeteria on campus um, with a variety of food choices. It accommodates um, anyone with a halal diet, a gluten-free diet, vegan, etc. cetera. Um, so that's not something to worry about in terms of food. Um, after lunch, we'll have usually uh, two hours of class. So two hours, two hours of histology, two hours of anatomy, et cetera. Um, it varies and then we're usually done at 3 p.m. If you don't have lab, if you're in the group that doesn't have lab that day, you're lucky because you get to go home at 3 p.m. Um, if you do have lab, you stay from 3 to 5 p.m. So it, it varies and it's a nice variety in your schedule being able to leave at 3 p.m. one day versus 5 p.m. the next day. Um, and there are also teaching assistant sessions. So students who are ahead one semester who did really well in the class they usually have sessions a few times a week and that's later on in the evenings and they're not mandatory but highly recommended so you're able to choose if you want to stay for those sessions and that kind of determines what time you're actually done for for the school day um, let's see how are the professors and how are you finding your coursework um, the professors are very nice they definitely care about your success um, they have open office hours usually during lunch so they they're very welcoming um, if you have a question you can definitely stop by their office we usually also review our exams with the professor so after the grades are released you're able to sign up for a 10 to 15 minute time slot with the professor and review your exam, which is also very nice and pretty unique to our school. Um, it definitely helps if you have a cumulative final going forward to see where you went wrong so you don't make those mistakes again. Um, and they're very open. They want to see you succeed. Um, so any in terms of setting up like a meeting outside of regular school hours, it, they're very flexible and they're here for you. Um, so definitely use them as a resource, uh, ask any question you may have and they're, they're very supportive about um, helping you succeed. And the coursework I find is very enjoyable. Um, after all, 
um, the culmination for me in terms of like my studies has been to come to medical school and it's very nice to finally be here and be able to take all the classes, um, learn about the different subjects that we're doing, like anatomy, histology, et cetera. And it, it really, I'm excited to go to school every morning um, just to see all the new things that we'll learn. And um, going forward, I know this will become part of my, my daily life. So I'm very, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, and I would say our school is definitely a very, very supportive environment. Um, when I thought about med medical school, just kind of like um, casually, I would always think that it's a very competitive place, um, which in, it should be competitive. But I would say at MUA, the peers, especially I found my fellow classmates are always willing to help share resources, um, do group studies. So it's not really... Um, an environment and that everybody is competing against each other because you all are in the same boat as a Caribbean student um, and just having kind of like that family network of students supporting each other especially when you're away from home um, is elemental to being successful on the island and adjusting and doing well after leaving the island as well um okay what should students looking at mua know about the school that they may not be aware of um i mentioned that we don't have official dorms so looking for housing would be something that you would um you can either use the housing coordinator or you can do on your own i would also say something that comes to mind would be that we have a newly renovated gym on campus so that's really nice really helps with stress relief etc um, and I would say just coming to Nevis and being um, a Caribbean medical student, I feel that I have everything that the medical students in the U.S. have, except the winter, I would say. Um, being from Michigan and experiencing those brutal Midwest winters, that's definitely a, a plus to have this beautiful weather to walk out to every day and I feel that it's very energizing. It makes the stressful times a lot better. Um, so that I would say it's not a huge difference in terms of attending school in the US versus in the Caribbean. There are some quirks, some unique things um, that you'll only find in the Caribbean. And I think that's part of the, the entire journey of, of being a medical student. Um, and the last question that I have, one that I came up with, because I, it's pretty important to have a nice um, balance of work and play. Um, so what do students do for fun on the island? Um, so free time is very limited, um, but notice I said very, it's not limited. Uh, it's not that we don't have it. Um, it is just usually after exams, the day after your exam, you have that entire evening free. And then the next day you start material for the next exam that happens in three weeks. Um, so students will do anything um, from going to the beach, going out to eat. There are a lot of fantastic restaurants on Nevis, um, a lot of nice and beautiful beaches if, you, if you're into that. Um, also during the week, there are um, different opportunities to play sports. You can play soccer on Tuesdays at school. And there's basketball once a week, too. I'm not sure of the day. So that's just a little taste of what we do for fun here at MUA. And that's kind of all the questions that I brainstormed for today. So now I would like to open up the floor to, to anyone who would have a question. I'm more than happy to answer. And I'll stick around until 5.30 PM Eastern Standard Time. So feel free, I, I welcome any questions you may have.
Okay, so we received a question from Angela. And I would say for the most informative answer, I would contact the administration back in the US. Um, and I can also have somebody reach out to you to, to answer your question. Thank you for, for your question as well. Um, and then I got a question about studying techniques, which is also very important. Um, so I would say the nice thing about MUA is that our, PD, our textbooks are available as PDFs and we have something called a student share. Um, and there are also resources from students in past semesters who have taken classes, who shared their resources. Um, so in terms of studying, you basically have time from 5 p.m. till the next morning to study. And the goal is to digest the lecture material that you uh, were presented to on the given day and try to understand that, whether it's making flashcards or doing practice questions to, to see where you are in terms of that material. Um, that is something that is suggested by the professors too. And also group studying is also, um, it's big and the campus is very conducive to that. There are a few rooms where you can group study uh, the library is a great place to study um, quietly. So if you're in the beginning stages of learning the material, it's an excellent place to sit down um, and just learn the material on your own. It's very quiet. There's uh, like separate cubicles with multiple charging outlets. Um, and really there's I would say your first semester is kind of when you learn what works for you in terms of studying. And then you do your best to carry that on throughout the next four semesters. And we also have, um, our school has subscribed to something called Osmosis, which is um, really nice videos where they kind of give you the background knowledge, the broad overview, so you don't get lost in the details. Um, so it's really nice to, view that if you're previewing a lecture, you're able to um, see what the lecture tomorrow will be about. And you can also go back and watch those videos as often as you need to, um, especially if you're reviewing for exams and you just want a refresher on what we studied the week before. Um, it, it's an excellent resource and I, I like it a lot. And feel free to, to send any questions you may have by typing into the, the comment box. I am monitoring them. Okay, so can I get into MUA without an MCAT score? I don't believe so but again i i don't want to give you a can um the wrong answer so i george i would have you reach out to the administration as well their email was posted in the comments um, you can do so by emailing admissions at mua.edu okay and then another question, what do, I, what do we do for fun on the island? Um, so I did talk a little bit about that. I would say that if Nevis is a very quiet island, my friends and I kind of joke that it's the grandmother of St. Kitts because it's, um, it's the perfect place to be to really focus on your studies. Uh, minimal distractions. If you do want to go out, we have, like I mentioned before, numerous restaurants, beaches. Um, you can go swimming, people do snorkeling or uh, fishing. Sometimes students will get a group together and do a catamaran that takes you out into the middle of the ocean and you can snorkel. Um, and also going to St. Kitts is something that most people do. Um, it's a 10 minute speedboat ride, so it's very accessible. And St. Kitts has more um, restaurants out there, more distractions. So. If if you ever get bored on Nevis, which I find tough to do because you're always balancing um, the school workload with just 
doing something fun. Um, going to St. Kitts is also an option. Um, you, you really just have to be creative with, with the, the resources that we have on the island. I guess I could talk about too the the weather and the different seasons. Um, when people think about the Caribbean, there are different um, seasons that they have in addition to kind of like the season that we have in the U.S. So I would say the average temperature in Nevis is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, when I started in September, it was very very hot and humid. Um, but now it's kind of like the winter season in Nevis, so you do have a breeze. Um, if you're from warm weather, then I would say you're very well adjusted. If you're like me from the Midwest, it takes a little bit of adjusting to, but it's a positive thing for the most part. Um, you'll, you'll end up loving it for sure. And I would like to thank you guys for, for having me tonight. And I really enjoyed speaking about my experience at MUA. And if you have any questions that I can't get to because of time, feel free to email the admissions department. Uh, they provided their email in the comments, but it is admissions at mua.edu. And I look forward to seeing everyone who's interested in MUA on campus. Thank you. Good night.